of my base. I did my foundation, my concealer, contouring, bronzing, all off camera because it's the same routine that I've been doing. I haven't changed my products at all. So I will leave a link somewhere up top of a different video that shows me doing my full foundation routine. I'm more than likely to leave the go, my go-to makeup look and you can check that out to see my full foundation routine, but I use those exact same products today. So moving on to the eyes, I'm using the oh so loved, oh so talked about Modern Renaissance Palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I am probably the last person to get this palette, but I decided I'm finally gonna pick it up after millions of years of it being out. I got it during the Sephora VIB sale and I got it for 20% off, so why not? I think this palette is gorgeous, it's beautiful, it's romantic. It goes for holiday, it goes for Valentine's Day, date night, a daytime look, all kinds of things, so I thought it would be perfect to use in this tutorial. So I love the felt, the velvet packaging. It probably will get dirty, but that's okay. <laughs> so in my crease, I'm starting out with Burnt Orange in Real Gar. And I just tap both of them together and just mix them together. I'm just putting it all over my crease. And on the brush that came with the palette, I'm going to mix Love Letter and Red Over. And again, I'm doing the same technique of dipping into both colors at the same time, tapping off the excess. And I'm staying in my crease with this color and I will build it up as need be. I don't wanna to go too heavy at first. This is a really pretty, pinky plum red mixture. And pink is not a color I wear too often in my eyes. It is my favorite color, but I just don't wear it a lot on my eyes. And this palette makes me get out of that comfort zone. And I like how everything blends together, which I'm sure everybody knows about this palette. It's been around for a few years now and there's been millions of reviews about it. It has taking the makeup world by storm but it's just that good and Anastasia has come out with many palettes since this one that I have swatched them you know in store in like Sephora and Ulta but I just haven't decided to pick them up yet I'm just not really a real reason I just haven't really wanted to but this one I was like I'm gonna get it for the VIP sale and what I'm doing is I just tap the less left over right here in the outer corner and then I go back with the first blending brush just to make sure everything is blended well together. This is ColourPop's tapered blending brush, which I really like. So it's nice and purpley. And then I'm going to take the shade Cypress Umber and put that in just in my outer V. And on the outer third of my lid, I'm going to use Antique Bronze. You just want to pack that on the outer third to get the most color payoff. And I um, didn't even wet my brush and I really didn't have to. It's a really pretty shade. So on the inner third of my lid, I'm using the shade Primavera. Now what I do is I go back over it with that first blending brush with no additional product just to make sure that it blends in well to the crease. Okay, so I went ahead and did my liquid liner on my left eye and I just did a line. I didn't I just did a line. I didn't want a wing for this look. And I'm going to just on my right eye. And on the bottom lashes, I'm going to mimic the same thing I did on the top. So I'm going to first, I'm going to mix red ochre and cypress umber. I'm 
I'm applying mascara to my bottom lashes and on my top lashes as well. And I'm not applying falsies, I just didn't feel like it. So I'm using the Artist Couture Double Take Highlighter and I'm going to spray my brush first because it is a loose powder highlighter. It's a really pretty pinky gold. For blush, I'm using Max Ambery Rose, which is pretty natural on me. It just gives me a nice blush of color. And on top of that, just a little bit more sheen, I'm going to use Too Faced Papa Don't Peach. And just a tiny on my apples. And just give me a really nice glow to the skin with the same artist couture highlighter. I'm going to use this down the bridge of my nose, like I always do. And a little bit. I'm going to keep this bow. And it wouldn't be the holidays without some bold red lips. So I have some of my favorite red lips for the holiday season. So I like higher end, I like more affordable products. There are a range of prices. So first, I'm so excited to try this one on, it is the Fenty Beauty Stunna Lip Paint in the shade Uncensored. Ran out of broken internet again with this and the packaging, you know, let's just talk about it. It's gorgeous, it's different. It's different from your normal liquid lipstick packaging. It says it has 12 hour wear and it, the bottle feels very heavy and very luxe. So I'm very excited to try this shade. And I don't know if you can see, but the wand is very different. It's, I think Rihanna said it was made to be able to line your lips well with the wand. So we shall see. And when applying liquid lipstick, this is a tip I learned from Melissa Ashley that I really like. You wanna start in the middle. And then you want to move your lips as you line. So I wanted to show you all some other dupes for the Rihanna Stunna Lipstick, the Stunna Lip Paint. And these could be shades that you may already have in your collection or that you want to add to your collection in addition to the Fenty Beauty Stunna Lip Paint. And I really like the color. It's a classic blue tone red, perfect for the holidays, perfect when you want that bright pop of red. I would pair this with my Ruby Woo lip pencil from MAC or the Cherry lip pencil from MAC. Those are both really good red lip pencils to have. And I didn't need a liner with it. I didn't need a line, but this is gorgeous. I love it. And these are some other red lipsticks. Also compared to the Rihanna lipstick. So this is ColourPop's Ariba in their collaboration with I Love Sari, aka Karen, who is a YouTuber. And it's another beautiful blue tone red. This is Max Ruby Woo, which is one of Max most standout best-selling classic colors ruby woo is a wonderful lipstick that is truly very matte next we have kylie cosmetics mary which has now been renamed to bougie and this is a deeper red for the holidays it's not as bright but it's so beautiful it's more of a cranberry red this is max collaboration with selena and this is coma la flor and it's another satiny shinier finish and it's another deeper red that's really pretty to wear as well if you want more shine and gloss to your red you don't want the matte look this is a wonderful color to go towards i think it is sold out but i had to share it love selena anything for saninas and last so i couldn't have talked about red lips without mentioning dose of colors holiday set so this is the set it comes like this it retails for 29 dollars, and regular price a liquid lipstick is 18 dollars, so it's a 54 dollar value this is such a steal for three liquid lipsticks dose of colors has one of the best liquid lipstick formulas i've ever tried i have eaten i have 
you know, had something to drink, worked all day, talked all day, and these colors do not budge. I love their formula. Do some swatches. So this is Bittersweet. It is a more red orange with a hint of pink and it's a different shade to choose for the holidays. Not as classic of a red, but something really pretty that you can even wear into spring and summer. And this is Strawberry Pop. It is a true strawberry red pink. It is another untraditional classic red for the holidays that is great for spring that's coming up i'm wishing for warm weather sooner than later and i just really love this color so much it's just a nice fun switch up from my normal nudes and neutrals i love the pop of color <laughs> so this is extra saucy that is drying now on my lips and this is like a deep cranberry red. So pretty for this time of year, for fall, for winter, holidays. So beautiful. Hi Cat Dears, thank you so much for watching my holiday makeup look, some Fenty Beauty comparison and dupes, and another set of red lipsticks that I love for this season. All of the lipsticks and everything else I talked about featured in this video will be linked down in the description box. While you're down there, you know what I'm gonna say, girl. Hit the subscribe button. You do not wanna miss what's coming up on iDavenport. The end of the year is gonna be amazing. Next year is gonna be amazing, and you want to be subscribed to my channel. Make sure you hit the notification bell so you're notified every time I upload. Leave me a thumbs up if you love this video. So this will definitely be my go-to look for this holiday season. Thanks again for watching and make sure that you are eye-catching wherever you go. Love you guys. Hey, hey,